Hi guys, this is uh, Thunder E again from Board of Work, and today we we're taking a review or taking the time to review a smartwatch. And yes, I'm talking about the Qualcomm Talk. The Talk is Qualcomm's reference design smartwatch, and this whole thing is designed to show what they can do in that space with uh, wearables. Now, uh, you can purchase it right now for uh, about, I believe it's 350. So let's go ahead and find out what really makes this worth the purchase and if Qualcomm has really brought something to the table that most other companies haven't done so far. So let's jump in. All right, so here is my Qualcomm talk. And uh, one of the things about this device I really like is the display. This is called a Mirasol display. And what you have here is a display that, that basically does two things. It has probably one of the best uh, resolutions or picture quality or just does the best look in sunlight. As you can see, I'm outside here and the display just looks solid. It's very easy to navigate. You can actually look at things quite clearly in direct sunlight, which is great, which is very good, especially if um, you're on the road and all that kind of fun stuff. And it's nice, and I think they've done a good job there. We're making it just quite a solid device overall. Now, um, the Qualcomm Talk has a bunch of features built into this device. And um, to really activate it and use it as a user, um, I'm just gonna tap the bottom here again, you have two active zones to actually uh, navigate the device. So at night, the Mirasol display is kind of like an e-ink type display, um, but with color. So it does have color, and, but it's, it's kind of a dollar frame uh, of color, if you will. So, so to activate the backlight, you double tap here and uh, it's, it's activated, and uh, we'll show you here as we slide. And then to actually access your device or your smartwatch, you tap, single tap at the bottom, and that brings up your display here. So you can actually scroll through and navigate it. Now, the double tap and the tap functionality is a nice idea, but really for me, it just doesn't work too well. See, I'm getting notifications right here. So you get all your notifications on the device, and uh, I'm just gonna go back here and use the watch while I check the notification later. So you see you have this full menu. This is the menu of the Qualcomm Talk. You've got your communications hub, your calendar, your music, your weather. Um, excuse me, let's pull my watch out because I'm gonna need that in a second. Uh, and then stocks, your status, settings, and notifications. So notifications, basically that's the last notifications I got. Uh, and then you have settings, which allow you to go check out Bluetooth, software update. You can scroll through all those. Now to go back, you need you just swipe from left to right to head back to wherever you are. Your status, 93%. Now, battery life is very important in smartwatches. The Qualcomm Talk really excels, excels there. Uh, I was able to get six days of use with the Qualcomm Talk. Now, I'm a heavy user and I actually got six days of use with this device. Now, you could probably push it longer if you're a light user, but I'll say, I'll say roughly six to seven days is pretty much what you're looking at. So let's tap here again. See, that's one part I just don't like. That tap functionality doesn't work as well as it should. And then you have things like you can check out your stocks. You can see the stocks I'm looking at, Microsoft, Twitter, Qualcomm stock. And then if you go in, you can check the weather. See the te current temperature here is 30 degrees. And we'll slide back there. And you also control your music. So I can hit that and press play. Also control my volume. And stop music if I choose. So I do have that. And I can actually control different kinds of music players on there. I actually should pause that first. There we go. Oops. And then of course you have your calendar and then you have your communication hub, which has all your contacts you've called. If you tap on the very top or bring down from the very top, see, this is one part that has always been iffy for me. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. See, I can go to recent calls, my favorites, and I can also go to my dialer. There we go. And I can actually call directly from my watch. I can call and, and, and end calls. So the other aspect of the Qualcomm Talk is actually its wristband, the way it's actually created. So the wristband itself, it has like, kind of like a double hinge claps lock, if you will. So you see that here. But the thing that's quite interesting I want to show you is how you actually set this up. When you first get your Qualcomm Talk, you can see this, the 
indentations and holes there. Basically, this a lot shows you where you want to cut your wristband to so it actually works for you and locks well. That's another aspect I don't really like that much because if you cut on the wrong length, you have a watch that just doesn't that just doesn't fit in your hand. So that's something that, you know, hopefully they change the idea of it. You know, it's it's still nice. It's still a nice clasp and it's very solid. The reason why is because the Qualcomm talk, this is where the battery is housed. So this is where the battery is. The battery is not, not in the watch housing. It's actually here. It's interesting. Um, so the, allowing them to have a bigger battery here within the device, which is, which is nice. So I guess it gives them longer battery life. You can see I have another notification here. Which I have from Instagram, Tyler, they liked uh, my photo and I can scroll through all my different notifications, go to my email and, you know, go back and see what Warren said, things like that. Now to charge your Qualcomm Talk, you do have this portable charging case that comes with it. So you can actually store headphones, which eventually will come, but this is actually a wireless charging stand. So if you push this button, once it's connected via the micro USB cable here behind, uh, all you need to do is take your Qualcomm Talk, drop it here, and it will charge. That's it. That's pretty much it. That's how you charge your device, which is cool. It's very nice. Now, some people may say, ah, eh, not so much because I can't just plug it into charge. But the cool benefit about that is that what you do have here is that your watch lasts for about six hours. I mean, for, sorry, six days. I apologize. So you can, you can of course, enjoy having a stand where you can put your watch to charge and, you know, you are good to go. The other aspect of the talk is actually the app itself. So I'm actually going to put uh, my Samsung phone here on the stand. And let's go ahead and unlock that and look for our Qualcomm Talk app. So if we go here, and this is the application for the Qualcomm Talk, and we look at the app here. So you can see this is the talk, and our talk is connected via Bluetooth. You can go into preferences, and you can set many different things within the device. So you have clock style. So you saw the initial clock style we have here. Ah, I don't like it that much. I want to see more of my weather. I can take this off, hit done, and it eventually changes. See, automatically changes, which is pretty cool. Just tap this here so you can see it's much more brighter. And then you can also change your icon styles. Didn't like that one so much. I want this one. So hit done. I can change that. And again, this this is one aspect that I'm just not the biggest fan of. But you can see the icon styles change to match. And then, of course, you can change your favorite applets and choose which one you want. I'm going to go to that because it, it's going to reset. Then you have managing notification, which allows you to manage all your notifications, everything. So you can see I have Facebook, Foursquare, Gmail, Hangouts, Instagram, uh, messages from uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp uh yahoo mail uh and so on and so forth i can go into beats i can do any application on my phone and have notifications pop up there which is nice i'm not, not going to add any now quick communication reply allows you to create uh quick replies so you can actually just reply people back away with actually typing up messages so i can actually create one if i want to and just create it and save and I, it will populate here so i go if i go test and just call it Tesra. Never mind, that's it. And I can have that or I can also delete that off here. And that's cool to have quick communication replies. So you don't have to do much typing on a watch, which is not something you really want to do. Um, you also have uh, music. As I said, you can have a default music player as Google Music, or I can pick Beats Music if I want to, or any other music application I choose off my device, which is nice. So I have that option there. There's also double twist. Um, of course, weather, you can also manually add cities if you choose to, or just use AccuWeather. So it uses your location, your stocks, you can add more stocks. Um, you've got your calendar, just basically selecting calendars you want to sync, advanced settings for vibration, call history, and things like that. So, you know, there is a lot that the Qualcomm Talk brings to the table. So why don't we round up this review by, so and I'll tell you, you've my seen what we've gone through with the talk. We've talked about different aspects of the device. Um, you know, it's a smart watch that I really like using. I will admit, I like using this uh, watch and I really like what they've done uh, in here. There's some things I don't like, you know, some of the double tap features, you know, yes, it does work, but also again, you can see it does take some time to 
to get used to and function. So if there's a way they could work around that would be great. I do like the presentation. If you check out unboxing, they have this great packaging and also this very simple. You know, they've taken cues from other uh, companies who've done well in that department. In terms of the battery life, battery life is fantastic. You've got six hours of battery. I mean, sorry, I apologize. Six days of battery life, uh, that's what I got. You can probably get up to seven days depending on use. Like I, I'm a heavy user, of course, so I'm, getting, I'm getting a lot of notifications. I'm checking the watch, I'm doing different things. And I, of course, I'm getting, gonna use more of the battery but I got six days with it and that was pretty cool to see that you could really really use the watch like a real wrist watch and of course the cool wireless charging stand is very nice uh, what I think Qualcomm needs to do uh, to move this forward and I really hope they do is basically look at a look at some of the things now the interface is nice but it it can be a little bit disjointed because it's not linear it's, it's down up left right you can see as i was navigating um trying to find how to get back home can be an issue for some people but what i would love them to love to see them do in the future is really take the mirror saw display and move it forward you know I, I just add more to it if we can get longer battery life with that that's great i really like that also um probably slightly better backlight capabilities especially at night and again the watch uh, to set it up is kind of an annoyance there but it's still something that you know at least they do show you how to do it and you can select it so it, it just becomes a little finicky because you have to cut it and if you miscut it you're pretty much screwed with your strap there you probably have to order another one or send it back to qualcomm there but overall uh, i do like the qualcomm talk i think this is a nice start uh from qualcomm i think they've brought in a couple of things that a lot of people will like here in a smartwatch just because um uh, you know, they've added a couple of things with the display, the way it takes in notifications, the application itself, very simple and it's easy to use. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Qualcomm Talk, uh, spelled T-O-Q, yes, let us know um, and uh, leave your questions, leave your thoughts. So what do you think? Do you think wearables are still, is, are, is going to be important or do you think it's a fad? Do you think it's something that you don't need? Yeah, let us know. Leave, leave your comments and your question with this video. Um, but otherwise, do like this video, guys. Guys, share this video favorite this video and also don't forget to subscribe to all our channels we have uh, three channels we have board femme who ha has a lot of her special interests and also covers tech but also in in a lot of fashion and style sense and we also have board gamers where we have our gaming videos and we'll try to push more of the gaming content there no, although we do still have some at board at work and also subscribe to board at work here uh, where you have all your uh, entertainment and you know tech videos that we like to provide for you so if you again guys have any questions let us know but Otherwise, this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.